Hey, uh, I'm, I'm about to my regret making a third video, and I, I'll let this be the final video on this little series. I got a habit of doing this. It's like fun. I know, it's fun to make videos. Um, what I wanted to say was saying about like what, where am I coming from with this? I got a little self-conscious about this. Like, let me offer my services. Like, if you want to do a movement. Well, what's going on is, like, see, for people who, like, hang on, people I was educated around and that type of, I keep saying educated, but I don't mean that it's, like, this type, there's this pocket of, like, what's called education that's, like, been making radicals. Um, and, like, right, like, part of what it's about is, like, what they say, like, identifying the constituencies that are interested in making change and finding out what their needs are. It's, like, it's a kind of participatory look political economy thing. Well, let's find out like, oh, who are the constituencies that are interested in making this kind of change. What are your needs? And like, I was sort of like, was trying to identify like, to the extent that like, a, some of these formats like this, um, something like this YouTube or something. Let's see, I'll look at that. We can look at the, see what, who the constituencies want to make these kind of changes are. And then you do, you see a lot of people with these wonderful hearts that want to do things. She said, I don't really know what are their needs. Um, and I was in a rehab for post-traumatic stress disorder and addiction to uh, uh, types of uh, pain pills and shit. And uh, I met a guy who was in the militias, and he said, uh, but he was also speaking on college campuses. And then he said, oh, I heard that you were with the collectives. And I said, well, I fell out with them. But yes, and this at one time. <clears throat> and he said, um. Oh, I said, so what do you need? What are, what are your needs? What, what, when you go speak to the kids on the campus as a, as a representative of the militias, um, it's interesting is with how the, the political movements take care of people. I'm sorry, I don't mean to be digressive, but that he had been, uh, the, the militia sent him to rehab. It's really interesting. They said, uh, we, we have to clip your act. Uh, you have to get on heroin if you want to be a part of this movement. It's really nice. It's why, why we, one of the great things about political movements is that kind of community. Anyway, he said, um, yeah, man, he said, I think about that myself. Like what, what I said, what, what I was asking him was, was how, what kind of information that is see, part of right, part of why I make these videos or whatever is that what kind of writing are they looking for? Because I experimented with different kinds of writing and then like try to do it and then like try to use these formats. I predicted the using that, that Facebook to do, uh, I think gave it, I mean, not that I came up with the name, but it was kind of obvious that. That, that these are the formats that they use for postmodern revolution. Because I knew what that Marcos in the woods and whatever with the thing and doing a poetry. So, but that's right, because that's people who think in revolutionary terms, like they know how to, what these formats would be used for. So, like two years, they said, oh, look, the prior revolutions. And I try to call it, I try to call out what Muslim countries I thought would have a revolution with it. Because the whole point, I mean, it's like part of why, like, to support, like, a lot of, somebody, some of the military actions in the Middle East, the idea, and then <clears throat> there's that, um, what, what they were trying to jump ahead to is say, like, well, we, we understand because these new technologies, what's going to happen to their mental architecture, so, right, so we're hearing that, and I said, oh, I see what that format will be used for, and I try to see if I call out what Arab countries I thought would have the first postmodern revolutions using that format, it's called Facebook, but well, what the, it's a format that interests people like me. And uh, I, what did I call out? I mean, it was the fact that I was calling out Muslim countries to have revolutions using that thing. Someone thought that was psycho. Two years later, it happened. There's a country full of stupid people right now. Be part of this is liberal education. You almost can't have a conversation with an educated person anymore. There's no reason I hang out and talk to, like, you know, the people I do. Because you really can't have a conversation with what's called an educated person. Because they're under this kind of uh, liberal education, which is a... Uh, that's a sort of systematic attack on the objective reality or something. I don't know. I'm not, that's over my head to find out like what, what even doing it for those minds or whatever. But, um, shit, man, this is what I do. I try to make a video and I like talk this way. But um, oh yes, I was saying like, what are their needs? So what I saw a need for is like, yo, that seems like right. Like, is there anyone in that world uh, talking to these people who I think are so awesome? But is there anyone who's sort of like doing this kind of like? thinking out loud about these things, who has like a head full of information about stuff, that is to say what these other people do, why do people, people show up and listen to some of those people, uh, uh, Christian Perennial, and he says some foolish things, but well, what is that, why do the students come and 
they're supposedly like, you know, in their fourth year of their college education, they're coming out and like soaking up everything. He says, I had someone talking out loud about those type of things. He's a Marxist, but he's, he's like, he's sort of thinking out loud and he refers to things and the way he describes something. And it's like, all right, like that's sort of what's missing. But I was kind of hoping that maybe our discussion here, or like a question that someone thought of me, like maybe that would help me with the writing. But, but with the writing, because I'm saying, like, I live in a motel, I go to NA meetings, and, like, you know, like I said, what if my own death, like, this would be nice, it'd be cool to be talking about stuff like this on here, but, like, can't be putting myself on here, like, and being like, yo, ask me a question, <laughs> like, it's Mr. Wizard, so, these are my thoughts, I'll leave it at three videos and just, like, call it a night.